um, set up and install. But the biggest thing is no template was needed and you don't need a plotter. You simply just cut a piece by hand that's big enough and then put it on and then install. So again, he's just spraying the surface so it doesn't scratch as he installs. And then it just applies the film with nice firm squeegee strokes left to right, top and bottom. So again, nothing different in terms of the application of the material on top of the PPF lines to so just apply it as normal. Then the biggest thing you need to consider before you uh, go on to the next step is you have to dry the surface, preferably use a microfiber towel, and then you have to put on the white tape and you're putting on the white tape directly over the PPF line. So if you skip this step, you might not get as, as uh, clean cut as you normally would. So again, this tape over top really ensures a razor like cut. So again, it's, it doesn't have to be exactly centered, it just has to be exactly over the wire. So it could be a little uh, left to right, but as long as it covers the wire perfectly, that's all that counts. Pull the wire in one stroke left to right. So again, one smooth movement, try to keep it low and flat, and then you pull half the excess film away. But don't pull everything out, very important not to do that. You just want to pull that top section out, but the rest of the PPF film the from Nyclos tape is underneath the film itself. So as you pull the tape from underneath the PPF, you want to actually spray it with a light alcohol solution. And you want to pull towards the section that's staying on the body. So notice that he's pulling towards and it lifts the lip and then you spray as you pull. Very important because then it gets down without any kind of bubbles or and so it looks professional. So again, pull away or pull into the section you want to keep on, spray, then squeegee. Extremely important. Now you want to dry it again because you want to cut off the section that is to the front in this case. So again, he's drying it with a microfiber towel, then comes back again with this tape. So this tape comes with all rolls of PPF. So he just applies it directly over top. Again, he's pulling from the roll and he wants to make sure that starting point is flat. You don't want to have any kind of wrinkles there. But again, this is just going over the tape. The tape. This doesn't have to be perfect symmetrical. It just has to cover the wire. So again, different, little less pressure here in applying the tape. But again, really want to make sure that you're applying it dry. Otherwise, it won't stick properly. So then once he gets to that point there, kind of comes back to the other side and again simply releases the string just pulls it goes right through super clean again try to keep it flat pull in one fluid movement keep it perpendicular to the line once he releases there he can remove the excess ppf film that's at the front but again don't remove the piece that's underneath the actual ppf that's on the hood so once he gets that done he's going to pull the tape across and again this is still just on the top of the ppf not under it and once he's done, he pulls the piece that's underneath away into the body and then sprays it with alcohol as he goes. And you can actually even use a pressurized sprayer there just so you don't have to keep on squeezing. But again, just sprays it underneath there so it's nice and wet with that light alcohol solution. And then he simply squeegees it down on the surface as standard procedure. So again, that's the exact setup of how you want to use PPF film on those edges. And if you do it properly, look how easily and quickly you can do it. And again, no need for a plotter. Super, super good stuff right there. So again, just finishes off the edges and again, because it's flat, no need to wrap around or heat. And then he simply wipes it down for again, perfect finish. So for me, this is just the basic techniques for how to apply PPF film. But if you follow these steps, it really opens the door to the exact cutting here. It looks like it was cut on a plotter and you can cut any shape. So this really frees you up from not having to use templates or a plotter. And look at that perfect symmetry at the front. So it looks super professional, nice and easy and quick. And then once you're done, it protects the vehicle from chips, sun damage, all that kind of good stuff. So again, PPF, very straightforward, simple setup there. So again, if you follow these procedures, you're going to get high quality. So we're going to really open the door to